Hello Cancer, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Spinner Tarot by Trungles. There is a website here, chroniclebooks.com. If I can get it close enough so you can see it. Should focus. There you go. If, if you want to find that information or anything else by Trungles, I'm thinking it'll probably be on there. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Um, it is a Hay House product. So there was hayhouse.com. There is an updated site. I don't know what it is. But if you look up Hay House on like Bing or Google or whatever, and especially if you buy like Hay House and then astrology, because I think they're big with astrology. I know we have a calendar by them. You can find the website if you're really interested. Just so you know. Okay. Cancer. There's okay. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's similar to um, Pisces a little bit, except you don't have the same issues as Pisces, you're different. But there's a similar feel here where something is just kind of like, are we, is it ever, are we going anywhere? Is anything gonna happen? Um, I feel like I'm questioning the roots of a situation. I feel like this is actually gonna go very much your way. I feel like the first thing I'm, I'm getting here though is like, is anything really gonna happen with this situation like, like, is this really going to work? Whatever I'm dealing with, I keep questioning, like, eh, I'm waiting, but does it matter that I'm waiting? You know, am I, it's kind of like I'm, I'm at the bus stop, but is anybody ever coming? Bus? Uber? A random stranger? Anybody? <laughs> like, anybody? <laughs> um, I'm questioning it. I feel like I'm questioning it. Like, yeah, is this? Because I'm, I'm sitting there waiting, and I'm like, I feel like I've been waiting a long while. Um, and the energy that's matching is not currently moving. This is, again, the similarity with Pisces. Um, there's the strength of whoever this is, whatever this is, whether it be a job or a person or a situation, whatever it may be. The Temperance card is telling me there's action there, but there's no action towards you. So Temperance is an action card, but it's kind of like one to the next, kind of like when you walk through a house or walk through like a job and you're like, okay, that's not right. Let me fix that. Wait, let me, this isn't right. Okay. And just like every time there's something, they just keep going from one to the next and they just keep moving and they're like, we got to get things done. I see that. No, that's not right. Let me fix it. Okay. That's not right. Let me fix that. You do this. I'll do Okay. Now you finish this. I'll go over here. It's a very active energy. It's just like, it takes its time. It takes a long time. It just keeps working little bit by little bit. It gets things done. It's very active. I know it's temperance and people are like, well, tem temperance is like, it takes a while to come together, and that is true, but it's still very active. It's kind of like when, you know, every day you read a little bit of a book. Like, you take 10 to 15 minutes to read a book or maybe to learn a language. 10 to 15 minutes every day, maybe you're learning, like, five words. After a month or two, if you really are holding on to these words, like, every day you learn five words. You take 10 to 15 minutes, you learn five words. By the time you get to the end of a month, you know a good amount of words. You could actually probably do something with that. After two months... Like, seriously, the longer you go, the more you put together. It's like every day is active. Every day is getting something meaningful done. But it's like the long term really says what's going on here. The thing is, I don't see this energy kind of like talking with you or conversing with you. But they seem to have a lot of ideas about what they want to do with you. Um, there's a lot of good energy coming out in the future. Um, something is waiting for you. And I feel like even though this energy does not seem to be communicating with you, They've got Wisdom with the Hanged Man, which for your situation, especially the cards I see coming in next, whatever, even if this is a situation, like maybe it's a job situation, you're being thought about, you're being like, people want you a part of something. So whether it be a situation or a person, somebody's thinking of you and they want you to be a part of something, but it may be one of those situations kind of like, well, I don't want to give false promises and I don't feel like I'm in a position right now to guarantee anything. So I don't want to come off wishy-washy, so I'm not going to say anything just yet. I feel like that's the energy you're dealing with. They kind of do want to communicate, but they don't want to be like, I would like for this to happen, or I hope we can do that. They don't want to put out that energy. They're waiting to come forward when they can put their feet on the ground and be like, this is what we got planned, and this is what I want you to be a part of. They, like, they want to have a stable offer. They don't want to be like, hey, next month I'd like to do this, but got to see how it play, plays out first. Like if things go well, maybe. If things don't, then no. Um, whatever the situation is, 
be it a person or a situation, it doesn't feel stable. They're like, I don't feel like I can really offer the cancer this and really have substance. I, they don't want to disappoint you. They're kind of like, if I put out this offer to the cancer and then I can't, I can't uphold it, I can't come through with it, I just feel like I wasted the cancer's time and I feel like the cancer is going to look at me in a bad light. doesn't mean that's what you would do, but that's kind of the energy they have. Like, they don't like to put stuff out there unless they can really back it up. Um, and they don't feel like they can right now. This is going in your favor. They got the justice side on their on their side. When they have something that they feel confident that they can control and actually offer you and sustain it, kind of like, I'm going to offer this to the cancer, but this is in my control so I can, and I can make sure it happens, then they will offer you something. They just don't want to come forward with a frivolous, like, well, let's let's do a wish and a prayer and hope it happens. Maybe it'll go. You know, kind of like, you know what I mean? They don't want to half-ass it. They just don't. But Justice is saying they're thinking about you. They are. I feel like it bothers you because you, you know you're not completely, like, oblivious to this. But again, that energy, the devil card on your side is kind of like, yeah, I think about it, but... I haven't heard from them in a while. Have they forgotten about me? They have not forgotten about you. I just feel like they... It's almost like they're almost embarrassed to come forward and be like, you know... Um, when things go better, when opportunities change, I have big plans for you. Yay. Like, they don't want to give you some type of, like... What do you call it? Blowing smoke? They don't want to blow smoke. If you, you know what I mean? They don't want to just make something look good and possibly not come out and I feel like you're kind of like yeah I don't know because you're starting to even wonder like are they just telling me what they think I want to hear like are they just kind of pacifying me so I don't get upset with them there's a weird energy it's not bad though because sooner or later the time will come and I feel like that's what they're saying the time will come this eight of pentacles always makes me feel like a time card I mean obviously because of the clocks on it and there's somebody literally looking at the guys here looking at the clock literally and it's kind of like um when the time is right, justice will come forward. They will make an offer that they can back up. They do not want to bring forward an offer that they cannot back up. They want to be sure and confident, I can do this, I can give this to cancer, and they will have it. You know what I mean? They don't want to plan a trip and then, you know, say they're planning a trip to New York City, and then all of a sudden New York City is like, we're in lockdown, forget it. They're like, ah, oh, crap. I mean, the bus is still ready to go, but we can't go there. And if we're not going to go there, like, that's where all the plans were. That's where all the reservations were. Like, I have to cancel. It's out of their control. And I feel like you would understand that. They don't, they just don't like that. They just don't, they're like, no, I don't want to make plans until I know I can sustain them and control them. <laughs> Might be a control thing there. Um, when it does come forward, I feel like you're going to be extremely happy with it. you got the Two of Cups with the Imagination, which is telling me whoever is... Whatever is thinking about you, like, they're, they've got a lot, like, they're, they've got a lot. Like, them having the time to think about what they want to offer, I feel like it's quite the sweet offer. It's kind of like, this isn't just like, let's, let's get together for dinner. This is like, come on over, I got a movie planned, there's some people coming over, I'm doing a three-course dinner, you know, <laughs> I've got, look, I've got some special hors d'oeuvres, we got this immaculate dinner i got this you know expensive dessert going on here you're like wow like i feel like when it finally comes forward you're like okay like they're over they're like shooting the moon here i'm gonna give your outcome first nine of pentacles with the true love come to me you're gonna get a lot more out of this situation than you were expecting it's almost like this person or situation could be a situation i gotta remember that is going to like overcompensate which is fine but I think you're going to realize, like, it's almost like all this energy built up and then boom, you got a, you got like this great cash out at the end here. Um, is that the 10? It is. 10 of cups with the ace of cups. This is something that's like, I just feel like they, part of what they're getting out of it when they offer it is like, they've been waiting and they want you to be happy. They want you to be like, oh my, okay, yes, yes. They said they were going to do something for me, but I didn't see anything for the longest time. But when they came through, bam, they came through. They want to, like, show you that when they come through, like, they were worth the wait. Whatever it is they were holding for you, that when they were finally able to offer it to you, that it was well worth it. Like, they made sure it was well worth it. And that's what they want. 
there's also more. Um, I don't feel like this is a one-shot deal, whatever it is you're going into. Fertility makes me feel like, when I think of fertility, I think of like, you know, when you plant a seed in the ground or when a lady gets pregnant. You know what I mean? That's just the beginning. Like, pregnancy is not an end stage. Pregnancy is a begin stage, beginning stage. Like, you get pregnant, you go through all that stuff, then you have a baby, and you go through all that stuff, and then you raise the baby, and you go through all that stuff, and then they're older and you're still going through all that stuff. I don't think it ever ends for a parent. <laughs> I don't think it ever does. But anyway, you get my point, though. Fertility, that's what I'm getting. Like, this is going to go into more things. So, you know, be aware of that. Um, I feel like you're going to be very gracious with it. Um, if, in case it's not obvious, you might want to put it out to whoever's giving you. If this is a business thing, especially, especially if it's a business thing, you want to put out there that you're very thankful, but you are ready for more, whatever that is. Like, this is something you're very happy to be a part of, and you have this is what you plan to do with it, and that's great, and you can't wait to see what else comes. You want to put that out there too to show that you're on the same wavelength. Like, this is just the beginning of things getting better. And of course, if it's a relationship thing, I feel like cancers do better with relationships and communicating what they want. So I don't think relationship-wise that's going to be a problem for most of you, but you still would want to carry on the same energy. Is there anything else with this? This is good. This is going to be worth the wait. This is a lot like Pisces. A lot. But I feel like... I don't know. I don't feel like you're dealing with a Pisces. It's possible, but... I'm just getting like whatever you're dealing with like really wants to like they don't want to they don't want to just give you something with a possibility and be like oh it fell through they don't want to do that they want to be like okay I know I know this is solid and I'm going to give this to cancer and they're going to love it and then you do according to this anyway <laughs> alright so I think we're good I'm going to shut this down here I hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email jamesforastral at gmail.com that's james the number four astral at gmail.com Oh, and the donation information is below as well if you're interested, of course. Thank you very much, and you have a good day.